first, two okay. Girls. Nick? No lady, no lady. Why you are not asking question, lady? Oh. <laughs> Um, Coach, you mentioned that you've won trophies in Gabon and DRC and Kenya. Where does this one rank for you, having taken over this team who has been struggling relegation the last few years and taken into the top six and now winning a trophy? Is this perhaps one of your better um, Achieve. trophy achievements? Yeah. It's difficult, you know. A um, few weeks ago, Vita Club told me to go back because they had a problem with uh, Florent and Bengue. I said, no, I'm, I don't want to come back. Our coach, you always said you will come back one day. Yeah, because, you know, it was the first experience. I didn't know. I only coached until the second division in Belgium. I'm first division for you, but it's professional, you know. And I never coached before that. It was 2010 in first league. So I got this offer. I went there. I didn't know about the, the, the African soccer, really. Only I watched some time the Afghan and but for the rest, I didn't know really. I went to Vita Club, you know, first training, 30,000 people. Ah, what the heck? You have a ball in your stomach, really? And then when you coach the first time, you have 60,000 people, and then you have 70, 80, 90. Oh, then when you can resist to this pressure, it's, it's fantastic. It will be, you know, the first experience in Africa. And when you, God is helping you, you never lost one game. I've been very lucky. And yeah, also one day I cry a lot, you know. I stay, I stay three hours in change room in Mazembe. I think I will, I will die, but I will never see again my children. But okay, it's like that. Then um, Vita Club was a big club, so I could see that. You know, for me, it was coming from second division and you play in front of 500, 1,000 people, 1,500, and then you see 60, 70,000. Hey, it's terrible. Then, uh, you know, I left, I went to Gabon. Yeah, I won also the league, not a lot of passion for the soccer in Gabon, only for the national team. Well, it was good, but not the same thing. Um, you know, in Kenya, I also won the trophy there. It was a lot of people, more people than today, but not the same organization, you know? When you see this organization, press conference, it's more than like in Europe, you know? It is, it's amazing. And sometimes you become today, I was very nervous during the day, I couldn't rest really. Um, no, I cannot say it's my best trophy. It's like all trophies are good, you know. Uh, a guy who will say, oh, I'm fed up to win trophy, who will say that you are no more angry, you have to stop to, to work, you have to go with all the respect to work uh, for OK or PKMP or I don't know where, but uh, not be a coach. Huh? So it's like that, uh, with all the respect. Uh, and, didn't say that people who are working there are not good, certainly not, I'm not better than them, but it's a matter of being angry to win trophy. And I don't know, I read again a thing that I was uh, at the training uh, from this journalist, but it's like that, my man. If you don't push your guys in the training, if you don't push them to the limits, you will never win anything. And uh, you know, I make an experience with which says, uh, hey, sometimes I keep quiet. Oof, it's a mess. Eh? It's a mess, you have no rhythm, no pace at the training, you have nothing. Yet. So, you know, uh, yeah, it's very good. I'm happy for them because I think the chairman, Mr. Mike Mokwena, is investing in the team since a long time, 24 years without winning a trophy. And I'm so happy today to, to win a trophy for him, for his family, a very nice family, very nice family. They support me a lot. Sometimes we dispute because, you know, I am also a strong character, but uh, fantastic people. And I went again to thank them. It's a nice trophy, I can say, in the nicest country of Africa. Thank you, Coach. Uh, I'm to, wrapping uh, up now to go to the I mid zone. Ask uh, again we'll the question, last for the last, very last question, but I want to first see if there's a new hand. I, mean, right. I want a lady. No, a lady. You cannot ask. Okay, me. lady, volunteer, no. Ladies, all right, okay. I'll give it to Carl. Thank you. Thank you, Kevin. Coach, congrats on an excellent season. I know, congrats for your silverware today. Uh, just for confirmation's sake, you say that you won't, if you don't, if there's no offers that come in by the end of this week, um, you won't leave. So, I'm, so I'm asking you if a club like let's say Anderlecht or Manchester City or even Kaiser Chiefs come in after a week. Are you 
Are you telling me right now that you reject those offers? I'm not talking about Man City and I'm talking, not talking about Liverpool, <laughs> but uh, they will never uh, be interested by me. You cannot compare Kezus with uh, Man City and Liverpool. Um, or, uh, you say, uh, I know they will change a coach. I got two offers from Belgium. You can say the name if you want. It's Saint-Tron and Wasland Beveren. Saint-Tron, I don't know how you say that. Where well, Benin McCarthy has been uh, assistant coach, yeah. And Wasland Beveren, but you know, it's team. It's difficult for me. I would like to return in Belgium, really, but with a very good team. With a very good team. I know I will never get under like Bruges or something like that. But the team from the where I can compete to be in the, the top, top five, top six, will be, I should have been interested or I will be interested. But for the rest, uh, to answer to your other question, if teams come after this week, I will not go to Chiefs. I will come back to Free Cessa. But they never contacted me. It's a true. You see that every day you are writing another coach, Patrice Carton, was laughing. He's my friend, he's earning more than $100,000 by month in America in the club of the year old bar. And you, you think that he will come and get a chief. Now you see Avant Grant, I don't know, they have coaches. But me personally, they never contacted me. And if nobody comes this week, I will come, go back to Free CSA because I promised that to Nancy, so I'm not a liar. What I did, what happened last season with Johnny, you know, it was not the, the same relationship that I have with the family here. It's something very different. And we are speaking very, we are very open to each other. But they know, they know exactly. Okay. All right. Thank you, Thank you very much.